I may as well tell you guys now. Um, I had a story I wanted to tell you, but I'll save that for another time. So basically, um, creamy goodness. Oops. <laughs> so basically, before I'm, the relationship I'm in now, I was in for almost six years now. It'll be six years in April. And um, before that, I was in a relationship for seven years. Oh, wait. 2005. Sorry, it was about six years. We've been friends, though, since like 2003. Hmm when we were in high school together. So my ex, we met at, um, his name is Jamie. We met at, um, in high school, in writing class. Very intelligent guy, very, very intelligent. Um, fell in love with his brain, really. So, fell in love with his brain, and, um, we became really good friends. And then I was like, I had gone off to university, but I, w I fell in love with him before I left for university after high school, and I wasn't ready. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I just felt really depressed. I was up, uh, I moved away, but I don't have a way. I didn't have a car at the time. You know, I was just out of high school. I wasn't ready. So I dropped out <laughs> of school, dropped out, and um, I came back to live, uh, went back to live in my hometown. We started working together at the same place. We got full-time jobs. We saved some money up, and um, we decided to move in together as friends. We each had our own set of bedrooms, but uh, I fell more and more in love with him. But he didn't like me that way. He wasn't interested in me romantically, so I started dating other guys, which made him jealous, and then one day we both worked the same shift together, and then where we worked was, like, the best. We would just, like, honestly play Trivial Pursuit all night which I really sucked at. Like, I was the type of person who sucked so hard at Trivial Pursuit that other people yelled at me and didn't want. But I mean, I'm not dumb. I mean, you know, I read and I read a lot and everything, but I don't know. I'm not, trivia is not my thing, you know? So, like, I, I don't know who Benjamin Franklin had sex with in 1864 and things like that. You know what I mean? I'm, good. I'm not good at that type of trivia. So, so that's, that's that. We were, we were working one night. Um, We noticed that naturally we were just talking about making future plans together. And I'm like, well, if we're making future plans together, don't you think that we should just date each other? And that was that. We started dating. And we were really close. And um, when you're with someone for that long, you know, and you, be, you start as friends. I mean, I still love this guy. as a like He's like a family member. I have no... I don't have any romantic interest in him anymore at all. Like, I'm not romantically into him. I'm in love very much with my boyfriend now. And my boyfriend knows about him, and he knows he's an important part of my life. I made that clear before. <sighs> my nail is grossing me out. <laughs> I made that clear before we, uh... We started dating. And he's okay with it. He trusts me, you know? So, um... So, yeah, so I... I uh, the thing is, is when I broke up with him, I just realized, you know, like I said in another video, we weren't intimate for, like, months, and I just wasn't feeling it anymore. It's just, like, the spell literally wore off. The in love spell. Anyways. So, I broke up with him, and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I still have guilt to this day, and I think that's why I still want to hang out with him, because I want to make sure he's okay. I do like hanging out with him. It's comforting, in a way. Because we have such a, a big history together. Anyway. I think we'll be friends forever, because, you know... <laughs> Um, he's a great roommate. Like, we had two cats together. We had our own little thing, you know? Mm. Creamy. It's so creamy. Um, I love tomato soup. So I, I'm going to see him when I go down. All this to say I'm going to see him, and we go out for dinner. Every time. It's tradition. And then we're going to go to... Um, sorry, I'm going to go do that Taco Bell thing, because... I'm really tired. I had, like, four hours of sleep. I'm so, so tired right now. I'm picking up um, Pete's, and we are going to... <clears throat> We're gonna go eat, actually, um, somewhere. I'm not even hungry. After eating that lunch, I'm not really that hungry. But I'll see you guys soon. They have a new special sweet maple syrup. I think I'm gonna try this one. This three filet meal with maple, whiskey maple sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, this is the St. Hubert's coleslaw. It is the signature coleslaw. It's like a vinaigrette, but they have like the best coleslaw and it's unlimited, all you can eat here. Okay. So this is their cream of chicken soup. Big chunks of rotisserie chicken inside. It's really delicious. Okay, so I have three chicken fillets, bread, gravy, maple sauce, two potato fries. What are you having? You're having the same thing. Chicken tenders. Fillets with regular fries. Okay, tell everybody about your t-shirt. Oh, everybody, who are you? Name, introduce yourself. I'm James. I'm sure I've been given another name on Pete's. here. Pete's. <laughs> Okay, tell everybody about the t-shirt. Uh, this t-shirt is designed by uh, Jessica, uh, Jessie Sharon. Uh, you can, she designed it originally as a dress. Yeah. Uh, she designed it originally for a uh, dress for plus size people. So, oh, so if you're, that's a bonus. Yeah, so if you're a bit heavier, then you can get something like this. She's got cool. a eyeball dress, she's got fighting unicorn. I'm gonna check it out because I'm heavier. I'll link, the, um, I'll link her name and her um, website down below. He's just trying to help her out, you know? So. <laughs> she's, she's really nice and really funny. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'll link her, her stuff in the uh, box below, and we're going to eat, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm feeling some of your sauce. Hey. Oh, that was a bit more than I made. You know what the penalty is for that? Ass kicking. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> maple cake well guys i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed that craziness and thank you for coming with me to my hometown visit and um i'm gonna drive home now. i have a long drive home in the dark i'm afraid of deer jumping out that's like my biggest fear so um yeah i'll see you guys soon